Hey guys, Max here. We just completed bottleneck about an hour ago, so I wanted to share that uh, the entire operation with you guys because I know some people have been commenting that showing one or two attacks was kind of pointless and you guys wanted to see the entire operation. So here we are, five attacks with, from five people. And we use a, a little bit of sabotage because we just have so much intel. But anyways, first attack here was Ali6 who attacked Distortion, uh, biggest base in the game or, or in this particular operation, which was 168 force points. Uh, I've, honestly, I have not seen any of these replays except for mine because I did my own attack um, last night. So we'll see how these people took down all of these attacks. I feel like it's more fun to watch it with you guys rather than watch it first and then just do the replay with you guys. So it looks like it's going to be all Zookas. Maybe we can go two times the speed just for time's sake. Yeah, full Zookas with Sergeant Break. Beautiful smoking all the way towards the HQ two smokes at the end because when you go with eight boats of Zookas you need a little bit of extra coverage there so straight to the core shock all the goodies mainly the mortars and the flamethrowers because those would be so lethal against Zookas I mean, they have absolutely no health uh, yeah that rocket launcher was gonna be so he shot all the right stuff and distortion came that way wow he has so much uh, GB left for critters too so that was the first attack by Ali6. Great attack, excellent. Um, one of our new me newest members actually. So welcome to him, and it was a great attack. Wow, the next attack by PCS was with uh, Teammate, which is highly unusual. Uh, he attacked Circuit Board here. Let's see what he did. Um, probably blast down those six rockets first. Let's go a little bit quicker. Artilleries. Oh, bunch of critters. That was a smart way to do it. So using critters to kind of like take, get rid of those, uh, the two shields, put down the tanks on this side. And we can go two times the speed because tanks are slow. And then just let the tanks eat away at the base. These cannons will be dangerous, but they'll be way out of range. The boom cannon will be dangerous. So I'm curious to see how he's going to handle that. Um, would the boom cannon be within range here? Oh, just out of range of some some of these cannons, actually. Wow, how lucky was that? Not lucky. Actually, lucky is not the right word. That was premeditated, and I'm sure um, PCS had it all planned out. So that was a wonderful, wonderful attack. Wow, I would have never thought of, of doing it that way. I probably would have tried to go with Heavy Zooka. Um, but that was a great attack. Uh, Caporal is the newest member. Uh, he joined us yesterday. I think I mentioned him yesterday's in the video. So he attacked uh, Key. I also just learned that this base is not called Kauai. How embarrassing was that, you know, to say it in, uh, in, on YouTube? Um, so Key apparently is how you pronounce it. And, you know, I am receptive to criticism. So, yes, this is Caporal attacking Key with all Zookas. Uh, let's see, he's going to go from, from the left side? Uh, interesting. Uh, oh, gather a little bit of GB. That's a smart way to go. Go on the side. Oh, get more gunboat energy. Hmm, nice. I mean, there are only uh, there's only one sniper tower here and one over here, so it's okay. You can always afford to lose, you know, two or three zookas. No big deal there. So once he gets it, that's when he starts smoking. Uh, we didn't really see how much GB he got, but he certainly got a, a ton of extra. So once he parks them on the on the kill zone, he just shocks all of the shot launchers, rocket launchers, critters to distract those boom cannons and cannons behind them, and those Zookas just kind of went to town on that core. Ton of smoke to celebrate, a couple of critters in the back, uh, that was a great takedown on key, 145 force points, so that was pretty sweet. Uh, after that, um, my PCS, my uh, officer, he kind of used sabotage. We just have so much sabotage. In fact, yesterday we were maxed out at 250 and we were waiting to start the op. And I think we probably uh, um, wasted some sabotages because we just kind of got maxed out on there. So we just kind of used it, uh, which is fine. And this was my personal attack last night. I attacked quick charge with 122 force points. This wasn't the toughest base, and I know I felt on quick charge a couple of times on the channel, which was really embarrassing. This one in particular was easier. This one's only 122, whereas the other ones that I attacked, I think they were 168 force points. Um, so anyways, I took down the rocket launchers that were up here with GP, threw one barrage on the mines here. One more uh, artillery, just for good measure, because I have so many Zookas, I didn't want to risk losing them. 
and you know with these operations you only have one try so uh, kind of try to play it safe plus I had the GPE anyways and I went with Zookas and I went with two boats of rifles I believe yes two boats of rifles and um, ever spark the boom mines and the shot mines over there I didn't care since I had the rifles walking in front of the Zooka so I just kind of let them go I did throw one med kit just in case and I put a couple of critters for those two doom cannons since they do splash damage now even though I have two bows of rifles I didn't really want to risk it um, from here on I kind of just flared them close to the wall and then up to the corner so I could get a little bit of GBE um, I threw a barrage right on those uh, machine guns um, just to kind of clear the mines which didn't really do a good job Most, the majority of them were still in there from here on just got a whole bunch of GBE um, the, the grappler is just so irritating I was just kind of grabbing, grabbing critters which is fine but it was just a little annoying the, the way that thing just keeps on you know shooting uh, every few seconds I dropped some critters to clear some more mines had to shock the machine guns because they have so much uh, they're just so deadly now after that buff they got and now from here on just clear a couple more defenses uh, I was my main concern were the mortars the rockets were going to be just out of range as you can see here so I wasn't too concerned with that so we just one reflare straight to the core and then you can go regular speed yeah straight to the core one med kit because I had the GBE and then I just hacked that cannon because just for fun there uh, I had a lot of GBE left so I uh, threw a whole bunch of smokes just to celebrate at the end too um, that actually went pretty well uh, I'm glad I was finally <laughs> able to take down one good base and after that, well, PCS uh, sabotage a little bit more, and then MTS did the last attack over here with all Zookas. This was one of the tougher bases, uh, especially to sell. Oh my god, hang on, my the screen is doing that crazy thing again. Let's see. Okay, there we go. So MTS did um, high five here. He dropped an artillery on those mines, and then he probably had to take down one of those rockets. The one rocket launcher behind the HQ first. What's happening? Okay, a couple of artilleries and that the rocket is gone. And we'll probably put down the troops. Oh no. Oh take down the shock launcher? Probably clear mines actually. I think mines are more of a trouble right there, yeah. So take down as many mines as possible. That's funny, those two didn't go down. Interesting. So here we are deploying them. Ooh, just within range of that rocket launcher there. Oh my god, and then that, sh that shot launcher. Wow, that was so dangerous. He actually lost a handful of Zookas there already. Wow. Valiant effort to keep composed and calm and move on with the attack. So, move all the Zookas to a nice attack area. Oh my god, those got exposed in there again. Shock all the rockets. Well, the ones that were in there. The two that were behind the Zookas w would be... Um, they'd be within the blind spot, so that was going to be okay. Wow, he's lost a ton of Zooka at this point. I wonder if he would have had, if he freaked out about having enough DPS left. We can go four times the speed, nothing else is going to happen here. Barrages, artilleries, nothing would be within range, fortunately. So he did have all the time, I don't, I don't know how much time he had left, like a minute or maybe close to two minutes, just to have these Zookas shooting in there. I, I can't really count exactly how many Zookas, but... Certainly it's just a handful. I mean, as long as it's enough to take down the, the entire base, it's fine, but he must have freaked out big time in there. But anyways, that was um, Bottleneck. Finally, we were able to complete it. 610 force points to our name, and we just restarted it. Now, MTS went with his other attack first, just nine minutes ago, as you can see. So uh, I'll be sharing that on the next video with you guys once we've all done up, um, all of our attacks. So hopefully you guys liked it. Um, this particular video we finally were able to do one video with the entire operation of all five of us so i'm really glad that's finally happened because recently honestly we haven't been able to finish operations and we kind of just try to get as many force points as possible but we weren't able to actually do the whole thing so i'm really glad that's hopefully we're moving on the right direction we're still learning a lot i, I know i am certainly so um i'm just glad i'm able to share with you guys all right guys so until then i'll, I'll see you guys next time keep on booming i'm max on the 15 bye